What's up, everybody? This is Investing Sensei here bringing you episode 166 of the portfolio update. So, you guys already know it's Sunday, it's time to go over the portfolio as well. It is the 25th of Christmas, so Merry Christmas to everyone that does celebrate it. And, uh, you know, we're still going to continue on with, uh, you know, our focus, which is continue to see how the portfolio performs, right? So, I will be going over the portfolio, I'll show you what I bought, what I sold, what the portfolio actually did this week and uh, what dividends came in as well what options i ended up trading this week guys was the best options income that i've received in a week so i'm going to be going over that i was actually going to be uh, creating this video as a q a for my subscribers uh, so this is actually going to make it very very lengthy so i decided to break this up so i'll make a video and uh, this is actually this coming week i will be on vacation so let me know any q a's that you guys do want to and have answered in that um video and uh i'll hopefully be able to include those if you are able to ask the question uh, a lot sooner before i record the video but uh yeah i guess the first thing i do want to cover first is that uh, i saw a lot of uh, my subscribers they were having issues with the the you know google scripts that i do have they're completely available for free all i ask in return is that you're subscribed with the bell notification we are trying to get to 9,000 subscribers as you guys can see my uh, new banner if you guys have noticed uh, we are trying to get to 9,000 subscribers as well as 300 monthly per average which i think we will achieve we have one more week uh, to go but uh, dividends go burr uh, and uh, yeah. So if you look at the community tab on my channel, I do have a link to uh, where the latest version of that script is, where you can uh, actually include it and it should fix that issue that you guys were seeing where the columns were getting shifted everywhere. Uh, so hopefully, you know, that works for you guys. Let me know if it doesn't. There's actually one more issue that a couple subscribers have told me about, which is like uh, an error type error. Uh, no property can't be accessed or something. If you have a spreadsheet that has that issue, would you be able to share it with me so I can take a look and try to fix it because I'm not seeing it on my uh, on my spreadsheet so I'm not able to really uh, debug it and fix it for you guys but if anybody's willing to share it with me I will be happy to look into it and get a fix for you guys but uh, anyways guys remember every single Sunday we come back we kick off the scripts that I do have available uh, for free we are trying to get this to $300 per month on average we have about uh, one more week left and uh, remember we do have goals that we continually uh, well I guess they keep us focused uh, but quarterly dividends guys we are working on the last month for Q4 of 2022 it'll be definitely exciting overall for the annual dividend for 2022 so far we've made two thousand eight hundred and one dollars we're still waiting on the month of December so this should spike it back up surpassing the three previous annual uh, dividends uh, but and overall for the video title remember that for this past week or i guess this one shows the full month so far in december uh, we have made one thousand one hundred twenty nine dollars and forty seven cents and uh, just collecting premium from selling options guys we've already surpassed the month of november and then we still have next week to see how much we can make more so we will see what happens there but uh, again we do have these goals that we do have for 2022 that try to keep us focused the first goal was to reach 6,000 subscribers you guys destroyed that you guys already got me on the goal to reach to 9,000 subscribers we're very very close as well uh, so definitely if you're new to the channel consider subscribing with that bell notification and uh, drop a big thumbs up on the video definitely would appreciate it uh, but goal number two guys is the $300 per month on average I think we will achieve that one as well uh, invest a hundred and ten thousand dollars of my own money which as you'll see here we have invested a hundred hundred and nine thousand eight hundred sixty one dollars so about maybe one hundred and forty ish dollars left to go and we will achieve this goal uh, and then I guess goal number four which is out of the picture is reach a two hundred twenty five thousand portfolio value we're definitely not going to achieve that because uh, that is out of our control especially with the conditions of the market uh, but goal number five is two dollar cost average a hundred dollars every single week and that's uh, no matter what the portfolio is doing and uh, that's going to continue to dollar cost average and try to get the best opportunity into these positions that we do have for the long term 
And then guys, goal number six is to drip uh, an additional $20 towards the companies that pay us out a dividend that week. So if I show you actually here for the dividend payout, uh, we do have three more companies guys that we are expected to uh, get for the month of December so that is an additional $60 that I will have to uh, deposit from my bank into the uh, brokerage account this uh, coming week so that's $160 at a minimum that I will have to deposit and uh, we will see that compounding over the long term those $160 are gonna work for us uh, passively while we sleep while we go to work while we go you know do our active income to make it uh, into passive income so it'll be awesome there uh, but overall there uh, one thing I do want to mention again I do have the fix for this let me know if you have the other spreadsheet that has that other weird issue I'll be happy to look into it and uh, again I do have some subscriber questions, uh, mostly an email uh, question that I want to answer, but uh, it would make the video very, very lengthy. So I will be breaking that out into uh, next week's or I guess this coming middle week uh, video where it's just going to be a QA. and a So let me know any questions you guys want me to uh, answer or that I could answer. Uh, but overall, let's go ahead and uh, actually uh, jump back into the portfolio so we can go ahead and get started all right guys so we are here at the summary of the uh, portfolio as you'll see it is trading at hundred and eighty one thousand seven hundred fifty three dollars and forty seven cents we are actually up in the green by a thousand forty five dollars and eighty seven cents which is about 0.58 percent overall we're still down about six thousand three hundred fifty six dollars in 77 cents which is about 3.38 percent not a big deal guys we are invested uh, for the long term so 5 10 20 years from now this is going to be actually in the green uh, so definitely not uh, worried there if we look at the positions here you see that uh, we have actually been investing since 2019 uh, of january and uh, we are actually still up in the green by that uh, we're up 34.37 percent which is about 40 $45,813.12 uh, so pretty exciting there so time in the market beats timing the market uh, so you'll see as well we do have two thousand six hundred twenty nine dollars and forty four cents uh, in our cash balance available to ready to purchase stocks I am trying to build this cash position just because I do want to start selling some cash secure puts so we will see how long that takes for us but overall in the positions you'll see that uh, we actually don't have any uh, options on, on any of these uh, positions that I do have over 100 shares the only one I do have is Nvidia which as you guys see Nvidia we have in the past couple weeks we were in the money uh, meaning that uh, our option was a $150 strike price and uh, Nvidia was trading around $160, $170 uh, Nvidia did come down so it's trading around $152 and uh, we do have a covered call for next week for $152.50 strike price so we are out of the money there uh, we will be managing it and uh, hopefully we can get out of this position fairly fairly profitable and we will see there but overall we do have uh, next week some great uh, companies available ready to go to uh, sell some uh, you know covered calls and collect some even more premiums so we can wrap up december very very strong uh, overall you'll see that uh, gains wise we are pretty much green in most of the positions we do have i do want to buy some more target and dollar cost average my position down some of these other companies and i will be doing that uh, over the long term uh, if we look at the performance you'll see that uh, we are down on the well i guess the account itself nine thousand eight hundred and eighteen dollars and eighty six cents uh, you'll see down we went and we're finally recovering and we're going down a little bit more uh, not a big deal again uh, we are invested for the long term we're down about 5.26 percent since august 25th 2022 uh, overall the portfolio value would have actually been up way higher i guess on the graph itself uh, because i did lose that when we transferred from m1 to schwab but uh, we will see this in the long term in a couple years see this in trending upwards especially with uh you know options options is a 
beautiful thing. It's a beautiful tool to be able to accelerate uh, or transition to uh, reaching fire. And uh, I think it's going to be very, very uh, awesome seeing that continue to grow and grow every single uh, year over the coming years. Uh, but if I show you guys here the investment income, uh, we are projected to make annually about $3,592.74 which is averaging about $299.40. Oh, remember that last week we weren't actually able to pull in all our information from Schwab. So our, you know, our balance or our projected income should have a huge spike in our Google Sheets. So it'll be very, very exciting to see that. If we look at the January income, it's projected to make roughly around uh, $284.28. And then for February, we're projected to make about $176.93. I really want to bump up the fe February one to where we are at least making $200 across every single month. Uh, if we look at the March one, we're projected to make about $435. Usually the third month of uh, the quarter is my biggest dividend income month. So definitely always look forward to the third month of a quarter because it's the best uh, passive income month for me if i show you guys here the history uh, we can actually go over all the stuff we did this past week if uh, i show you we started on the 19th of december all the way to the 25th which is christmas uh, we do have this green button that's called calculate dividends uh, this is a script that i created so if you're interested in it let me know i do have uh i guess uh, the scripts available for free but if we scroll to the very bottom, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, all these options here were the ones that expired worthless from the previous week on the 16th or so. Uh, but if we start here on the 19th, guys, uh, we did a sell to open on uh, a covered call on JP Morgan for a strike price of $135. That expired on the 23rd of December. We did one of these and uh, we collected $27.35. Uh, as long as JP Morgan did not close by, you know, above 135, we would get to keep $27.35 in our 100 shares. Uh, but you'll see on the 19th as well, we did a sell to open uh, covered call on Microsoft for a strike price of $252.50. That also expired on the 23rd of December. We did one of these and uh, we collected $60.35. So pretty awesome there. That same exact day on the 19th, uh, we ended up doing a uh, call or I guess covered calls on Apple for a strike price of $139. That also expired on the 23rd. We did two of these and uh, we collected $100.69 guys from our 200 shares of Apple there. Pretty awesome there. Uh, the next one here on that same exact day, we did a buy to close on Microsoft. Remember the $252.50 strike price covered call we did that expired on the 23rd. We actually bought that to close. So we exit the position. We paid $35 to exit this position. So we got to keep the difference. We got to keep about, uh, what is that, $25. Uh, in profit there fairly quick. Uh, so definitely uh, love taking those uh, quick income, uh, you know, for these options as well. You'll see on the 19th, we did a buy to close on Apple, which was the 139 strike price. Uh, we bought both of them back. We paid $61. So we made right around uh, what $39 uh, in quick uh, profit there. And uh, then guys, from there, we did on that same day, we did a sell to open on Microsoft covered call for $247.50 strike price, which uh, expired on the 23rd. So we went down in strike price uh, and we sold one of these. We collected $112.35, pretty juicy uh, income or I guess premium there for us. And then also we did a sell to open on Apple with a strike price of $137 that expired on the 23rd. We did two of those and uh, we collected $118.69. Uh, on the 19th as well, we did uh, buy. We actually bought some Altria. We bought five shares of these and spent about $231.73. This was from the cash position we've been building out. Just decided to buy some Altria there. On the 19th as well, as you see the 19th was pretty busy. We did a buy to close on Microsoft again for the $247.50 strike price, which was the 
23rd when it expired uh, we ended up uh, actually paying $67.65 so remember down here we we actually collected $112.35 so we made about what 30 42 uh, maybe like about 45 45 dollars quickly there as well on that same exact day definitely gonna take that as well on the 19th we did a buy to close guys on the call on jp morgan for 135 strike price that expired on the 23rd uh, we paid back uh, or i guess we paid their 11 dollars 65 cents i forgot how much we made for that one so we sold it for 27 uh, let's just say 28 dollars and then uh 12 uh, so we made about 16 15 16 dollars there uh, by doing that and uh, we uh, made our shares available again to sell some more covered calls uh, you'll see on the 19th as well we did a sell to open uh, jp morgan guys for 133 strike price that expired on the 23rd so we just went down by two dollars and we got to lock in that profit plus we made an additional thirty dollars well twenty nine dollars and thirty five cents after fees and then as well pretty busy week huh guys on the 19th we did a sell to open uh covered call microsoft 245 and uh expired on the 23rd and uh, we collected $109.35. Again, this looks like a lot of stuff, but this happens within a couple seconds, especially because you can do this through the old mobile app and uh, you know, it just makes a pretty quick income, especially because it doesn't take uh, a lot of time and you can set uh, you know, limit orders for this and it automatically fill in whenever uh, it hits the you know, price that you want. On the 19th, uh, we did reinvestments. Uh, well, I guess the drip happened on Duke Energy and then waste management for us. I uh, gotta love that drip. And then on the 22nd of December, we did a sell to open on Altria for a strike price of $46.50 that expired on the 23rd of 2022. We collected a dollar and 35 cents after fees guys so the reason why i waited on this one was because the x dividend date on altria was uh, i believe the 21st of uh, december so i definitely usually try to avoid selling covered calls on uh, the x dividend date week uh, because uh, a lot of people will get exercised so my shares could have potentially gotten sold out uh, you know and i would have missed out on the x dividend date because it depends on the amount that the company's paying uh, you know sometimes they will take that profitability there uh, so i wanted i wanted to make sure i captured the x dividend date there on the 22nd we did a buy so we bought some nvidia here guys and that was twenty dollars because remember our goal we were expected to get a dividend from nvidia this week and as you'll see on the 22nd we got the nvidia dividend of four dollars and one penny as you'll see here on the 22nd guys we uh, actually bought a uh, one full share of microsoft at 234 dollars and 90 cents we bought some more altria two more shares of altria spent about 90 dollars and 73 cents and then on the 23rd we ended up depositing 120 dollars uh, to recoup or refill to recoup or refill the amount that we uh, actually made purchases early on uh, but uh, the last one we ended up doing well yeah i guess yeah on the 23rd we ended up actually rolling our nvidia covered call so first thing we had to do was buy to close our old call that was at 150 dollars track price that expired on the 23rd we paid 141 dollars and 65 cents remember guys this a couple weeks ago was in the 1000s mark uh, value and then we did a sell to open we did a covered call at 152 dollars and 50 cents that expires next week on the 30th of december so we went up by two dollars and 50 cents plus we went further out in one week uh, we actually got paid 322 dollars and 34 cents so if you subtract the difference here that's about maybe what 150 170 100 about 180 dollars we made by rolling this nvidia covered call and now we are out out of the money we will see how next week performs if nvidia starts skyrocketing again we will be in the in the money and we will have to manage to trade again but uh, overall 180 dollars pretty sweet there and then on the 23rd guys we wrapped up the video uh, well, i guess the week with uh, nvidia doing its drip of four dollars and one penny so that next quarter we get some more dividends and continue to grow that dividend snowball but uh, pretty weak uh, pretty uh, i guess busy week overall 
Uh, let's go ahead and see how much we made in dividends completely passive so click the calculate dividends and guys we made four dollars and one penny and that is because of the nvidia dividend there but uh, let's go ahead and jump over to the google sheets so i can show you guys all the amount of money we made this past week all right guys so we're here at the google sheets on the dashboard let's go ahead and see how much we grew the dividend snowball again this is also going to include last week's because uh the uh, i guess the personal capital uh account was broken and it is fixed now so uh 294 you'll see i have it copied over here uh, if we jump over here actually the first thing i do want to cover is the options which as you'll see here guys for week uh the week of the 25th of December uh, we made five hundred sixty three dollars in ninety one cents guys the most that we've made in one week so far definitely exciting to see that as you'll see that brings our December uh, in premium we've collected to one thousand one hundred twenty nine dollars in forty seven cents uh, we've actually surpassed November which was our highest month at the time uh, total since we started this in August uh, we've made three thousand one hundred seventy six dollars and ninety eight cents pretty awesome there remember guys with uh, when I was in M1 finance these three thousand one hundred seventy six dollars would have just gone to waste I would have never actually received this and with um, moving my money uh, I am getting it to work for me twice as hard now instead of just having a uh, drip uh, dividends and uh, we're gonna reach fire much much quicker with uh, these uh, you know strategies and we will see uh, how long that takes for us but if I look at the dividend payout for us here guys I will uh, go ahead and show you guys so I do have that fix hopefully this is uh, everything that uh, works for us so 52 here if you look at portfolio tools get latest dividends we will see uh, if this uh, works for us I believe I did add the fix on this Google Sheets I, I usually create a template one or a, you know a dummy one when I'm trying to troubleshoot stuff uh, but we will see what happens we'll see if everything gets uh, not shifted around and it looks like it's working overall uh, but it looks like we did get one company that declared a dividend, which uh, is not showing up here. It's probably the JP Morgan. I'm not sure exactly which one it is, which is actually an improvement for the script that I can add is for it to show which one is the difference or the one that got added. But overall, you'll see we are waiting for these last three companies. Uh, and then that will wrap up the month of December and we will start the new year guys as you'll see Lockheed Martin had given us a dividend raise for doing absolutely nothing gotta love dividends if we look here at the settings guys we'll go ahead and delete this and uh, we can actually jump over to personal capital so we can get the latest version of our portfolio from this past week which has all our purchases in it so I'll see you guys over there all right guys so we have personal capital under my schwab account you'll see this green button click copy holdings this copies the content of my portfolio into the clipboard which then we can jump back over to the google sheets right click pay special values only and uh, then we are ready to go guys if i go here to holdings uh, this is my positions of uh, you know what we just pasted but from last week so once i click uh, portfolio tools update uh, portfolio holdings this will get wiped and it'll use the new stuff we just pasted so let's go ahead and click on it and uh, there it goes guys we can jump over here to the dashboard and then you'll see everything is being calculated uh, we will see how much we grew it uh, it looks actually it went down so i'm gonna have to look into that because uh, this should have gone actually up because we have been making some pretty juicy uh, you know purchases all right guys so I think I found the issue potentially so Apple uh, if we look at it seeking alpha you'll see that for some reason it's saying that quarterly amount is 17 cents so the information's there is wrong if we look at the history real quick you'll see that they were project they're supposed to be paying 23 cents and for some reason they have the wrong information on there so if i look at the C uh, google sheets here on the latest dividends i went ahead and corrected it manually so i changed it to 23 and then i fixed it uh here on the annual payout uh, so 23 times 4 is 92 cents uh, you'll see i was able to quickly find that because of the percent increase was negative 
Uh, we haven't received that. Uh, so one thing that we could do here now is go to holdings, go ahead and go to portfolio tools and then update portfolio holdings. And hopefully that should project everything correctly. Uh, so we'll see if that is correct there for us. Now uh, there could be potentially another company that uh, actually, you know, has the wrong uh, value there for the data and uh but look looks like it, it is correct now so it's uh dividend yield guys 1.97 percent compared to 1.96 percent uh, on the yield uh you'll see we are 2.69 percent versus 2.72 percent uh, so we've gone down uh yearly though as we are projected to make three thousand five hundred eighty four dollars and sixteen cents uh and then guys on the monthly we are projected to make two hundred ninety eight dollars and sixty eight cents compared to last week's of 294 uh, in 11 cents so we have about a dollar and uh, 32 cents more to go and uh, we will achieve our goal we have one more week to go i'm gonna try to uh you know buy some more companies next week so we can uh, achieve this and uh complete that goal uh, for the week we are projected to make 68 dollars and 93 cents uh, compared to $67.87 on the day we actually went up quite a bit 13 about 15 pennies uh, every single day now and then on the hourly guys we are projected to make uh, 41 cents so one more penny every single hour that goes by on the 40 or I guess the 40 hour work week uh, this is if our portfolio was to go work a 40 hour work week it would get paid an hourly rate of a dollar and 72 cents compared to a dollar and 70 cents so we went up by about two pennies I guess the portfolio is doing very very well we're gonna eventually try to get this to minimum wage uh, we will see how long that takes but uh, next week we should hit our huge milestone of $300 projected uh, per month we will see what happens there uh, this is actually all i have for you guys consider subscribing with that bonification definitely help me reach 9,000 subscribers definitely would appreciate it as well drop a big thumbs up on the video and if you stuck all the way to the very end be sure to drop a hashtag options definitely would appreciate it guys and uh, again merry christmas hopefully you guys have a great day there and uh, let's continue to you know go towards uh, achieving uh, fire again drop your questions below uh, so hopefully i can get to those and uh, i can create that video in the week uh, where we do a q a uh, video for you guys i will be answering that other email i did receive definitely uh, excited and looking forward to it. I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys.